Okay, another uh, GeoGebra sketch. This time we are creating the in center of a triangle. And uh, the in center of the triangle is created by finding the point of intersection of the angle bisectors and drawing the circle from there. Okay, so we will construct ourselves a triangle with three non-collinear points, three coplanar points, if you will. Okay, three segments. Okay. And we will then come and we will construct the angle bisector. So if I want to bisect angle A, I'm going to go over to my angle bisector tool here. I'm going to select the points to bisect angle A in succession. Clockwise C, A, B. If I want to construct the angle bisector at B, select the points in succession. A, B, C. And then lastly, uh, selecting the angle bisector at angle C. Select the points in succession, uh, B, C, A, okay? Uh, again, my triangle is totally flexible. Regardless of how I change it, I can always see where the angle bisectors intersect. I can see clearly where the angle bisectors intersect. So uh, I want to label that point. So I want to find the intersection point. As, as the drop down box tells us, select two objects. Select two objects. So I'm selecting my two angle bisectors. There we have them. Okay. Here's my point D, which is said to be the in center, the center of the inscribed circle. So I'm going to create a circle using that point D as my center. And I'm going to reach out so that I can see my inscribed circle, and my inscribed circle is depicted here. Okay, you just have to be a little delicate with that, what we mean by an inscribed circle. The one circle sits inside and touches, okay, each side of the, um, touches each side of the triangle at one point only. That is what we call an inscribed circle. Uh, the previous exercise, if you can recall, showed us the circumscribed circle. So this is the circumscribed circle, and this is the inscribed circle. Okay, and those constructions, okay, the, the uh, in center, the center of the circle inside is determined by finding the point of intersection of the angle bisectors, whereas the center of the, the center of the circumscribed circle is found by finding the point of intersection of the perpendicular bisectors of the sides. So there you have it.